Good evening everyone, my name is Jim Adrian L. Felicita and here is my video clip on Rizal's family's role in his life that affected his life as a student and shaped his behavior to become a man for others. Dr. Jose P. Rizal is widely known as our national hero here in our country, Philippines. He was a smart man with a big ideology and strong justice towards his country and his people. He studied and wrote notable works regarding on the injustices and the cruelness of the Spaniards. All throughout its journey, Rizal's family made a significant influence on his life that shaped his behavior to become a man for others. Dr. Rizal came from a family of 13 members including his parents, his siblings, and himself. I'll be tackling some of Rizal's family and their influences on Rizal in his brief life. His mother, Theodora Alonso, opened his eyes and heart to the world around him, with all its soul and poetry, as well as bigotry and injustice. Throughout his life, Rizal proved to be his mother's son, a chip of the old block, as he constantly strove to keep faith the lessons she taught him. Theodora Alonso was his first teacher, and from her, he learned to read and consequently to value reading as a means for learning and spending one's time meaningfully. It did not take long before he learned to value time as life's most precious gift, for she taught him never to waste a single second of it. Thus, as a student in Spain, he became the most assiduous of students, never missing a class despite his activities as propaganda leader or an examination despite having to take it on an empty stomach. By his example, he inspired his compatriots, those who had sunk into a life of dissipation, wasting time and allowances on gambling and promiscuity, to return to their studies and deserve their parents' sacrifices back home. From his mother, he learned the primacy of improving oneself. Thus, growing up, he took pains to comprehend the logic of mathematics, to write poems, to draw and sculpt, to paint. Sadly, for all this he earned not only glory but also the fear of myopic souls. On the other hand, Pasciano Rizal, Jose Rizal's older brother, was a huge influence on Rizal's life. He served as Jose's guardian and hero. He helped their parents choose Jose's tutors and later acted as Jose's guardian in school. He also helped Rizal go to Europe in 1882 and was the only one who told their parents about Rizal's departure. For five years, he sent his brother a monthly pension of 50 pesos and constantly updated him about what was going on with their family and in the country through letters. From time to time, Pasciano would send his brother some letters and financial support. In 1885, Jose received a letter from him, convincing him not to return to the Philippines yet since it would be dangerous. When Jose returned home two years after, Pasciano never left him, a few days after his arrival. Having a family is really important to us. Aside from helping us nurturing ourselves, they are our ally no matter how dire the situation is. They are always there when we need help and when we need a shoulder to cry onto. A family provides love, support, and a framework of values of its members. Family members teach each other serve one another, and share life's joys and sorrows. Families provide a setting personal growth. Family is the single most important influence in an individual's life. So we can say in Rizal's life, he was an educated person. But what does it really mean to be educated? Educated doesn't mean you went to school and learned something. It is something deeper than that. To be educated is a demonstrated ability to listen carefully to think critically, to evaluate facts rigorously, to reason analytically, to imagine creatively, and to articulate interesting questions, to explore alternative viewpoints, to maintain intellectual curiosity, and to speak and write persuasively. If we add to that a reasonable familiarity with the treasures of history, literature, music, dance, and art, that previous civilizations were delivered, we are getting close to the meaning of educated.